pawls. I worked on the pawls. This one isn't finished yet. Nor is this one. But I'm sizing it up to see. It has to be a little bit shorter by the looks of it, right? It'll latch. But it's not at its strongest point. If I shorten it a bit, by the looks of it, probably around a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch, that might be this just the angle I'm looking for. I'm going to do that now. This other Paul. These thin walls that are ready to collapse have to be removed. I'm going to do that by file and maybe a Dremel tool. Okay. Those are the leftover marks from when I uh, pick, prick punched the design into it. Um, they don't hurt anything. Right? You don't have to remove them. You just have to take it to either to a small honing stone or or sandpaper just make sure there's no ridges they're not going to hurt anything so on with this This is a spring for one of the ratchets underneath the, uh, the claw. claw uh, it's part of the ratcheting system. Okay. And this is a uh, piano wire number 15, which is point. Thirty four thousand, right? Okay, so you can make the hole in here, and actually, this is what the plan called for. Okay, but my drill only made it through here and it started crunching because there must have been some abnormality, ab abnormality inside the uh, this metal here, and that drill is so small. Okay, it, it's not even uh, it's not even one sixteen because one sixteen is uh, I think that's one sixteen. But I had a uh, I had a a, a drill a drill uh, kit. There's a hundred odd drills in it, and there are some that are numbered that go underneath one sixteen. Okay, and it was. I believe uh, 38 even though that's 34 it does slip in there but I'm either going to silver solder that or I'm just going to plain old solder right um, Although silver solder would probably be better, 
but I'm afraid of changing the characteristics of the spring or the piano wire. Piano wire is high in carbon, but it's already springy. And it's strong enough to actually keep the pawls connected to the, uh, the, the ratcheting system. So, I don't think I'm gonna, gonna... Well, I'll see. But I think I'm just gonna go with plain old uh, uh, wire solder, so, solder, solder, solder. Anyways, um, so this is what's next. So this is the wire material that I used, and um, this is the end product. Like I said, this hole was drilled at. 38.5 uh, 38.5 thousandths or 385 tenths whichever which way you want to look at it and um, I drilled it about before I started hitting some some abnormalities in there like a piece of carbon or something It was an approximation around a quarter of an inch deep, which is enough to actually hold that in there. And I still get spring in. Um, this is the assembled parts up till now. Okay, now I'm not sure if you see that. That's the other spring I bent, and it seems to be strong enough to ratchet that pawl back into place. It, it, it's keeping it attention on it, right? I don't know if maybe you want a closer picture of that. Oh, sorry for bouncing around like that. And, okay, so, as you can tell, there's a little bend, there's a 20 degree bend in this, and then there's a bend there. As per indicated, like there's the other claw on the inside, and there's that claw, or paw as they call it. Oh, I, I, I hope I'm in the frame. Um... Determining the length of this will determine the slack of the ratchet up here. Like here, I'm engaged, but I've gone beyond the ratcheting point, right? And now I'm starting to engage. So, you may have to tinker around with it a little bit to actually get these, these uh, ratcheting systems to act a little closer together. To remove some of the the, the the free play between each pawl and what would you what, the way you would do it is the length of this one or the length of that one okay this called for three quarters of an inch from center to the end of the pawl and this one uh, wanted between the center and the end of the pawl they wanted an inch and a quarter I'm a little bit shorter than an inch and a quarter on this one because the radius isn't just quite enough. It's gonna work, but it could have fit a little bit better. And I okay. may recreate this Paul and that one for a better fit. I don't know how it's gonna work out just yet. Okay. And if you take that off, whoops, what happened there? You put on your, your gear blank here, and then you have your, your, your wrench set in here. You put your wrench, and you tighten this one down. And, and the pressure keeps it 
in the paw. Now, you may be able to get away with just putting tension on it since it's it's only for an inch and a quarter or an inch I think it's an inch and a quarter gear cutters they're for really small gears okay now if you wanted to make larger gear cutters like the ones you would find uh, in an industrial application where you make two or three inch diameter gears and stuff they're they're around I'd say two and a quarter I don't think they're three inch in diameter oh they might be three inch in diameter okay even maybe four well all you have to do is upsize this and put a keyway on there that'll fit the same keyway that you would have on a gear okay now I gotta get some bolts or some nuts some bolts for this I should see I'm just going to make sure of what I actually tap these out to. They're number 6, 32 National. I think it's coarse. I think it's coarse. Um, and fine would be 48 maybe. But these are, are I tapped them out to number 6, National Coarse. 32 so I gotta get two of these I hope they have them at the store that is going to be In actuality this is this will be rolled over here this will be bolted onto here and that piano wire is going to be adding pressure to this pawl to keep it engaged little pieces if you get them magnetized they'll pick up everything Jeez. All right, so what am I looking for now? I want to get the total thickness of this. All right. Um, this is probably Better off I just clip it on the side here, not too tight, and uh, I cleaned off a portion of how this. I'm going to do this. This isn't silver solder. I just don't want to put too much heat into the part. Use a little benzene, uh, yeah, benzene torch. I can adjust the. Uh, yeah. Just get it to melt in there if I can. Gotta watch out for this. If you heat it too long, it can shatter in your face, right? Just gonna try to tin it if I can. Should get some to stick to it.
No. I'll just bring you up to it. So you can see it. This is what I see. It, it, it seems like it, it stuck to it, you know, sometimes when you have like stainless steel or something and you put solder on it, it just doesn't stick to it. I don't know if this, since it's kind of like a tool steel, if it's going to act the same way. I'm talking about the wire portion, not the, the solder will stick to this, but this I'm not sure. Okay. If this actually gets into the hands of somebody else who wants to make one for the video, um, make sure that you leave enough meat on this pole. And the angle coming out here, well you can tell what's missing, right? If I had a little bit more material to work with here, I could stay within one inch and a quarter. I might have to reduce the length on it a little bit and see if I can't get some clearing and get it to fit tighter at the bottom of that notch. See what I mean? That's You can see that the wood underneath and the gap there. Leave yourself enough material to play with. The pivot pin for the pawl, the threads aren't, don't permit it to seat properly, so I gotta fix the threads. I'm gonna put a little relief at the end of the threads. And I needed a fixture to actually hold the, 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 the pin in, so I can actually touch it off with a, uh, with a cutting tool, right? So right now I am making threads for that side and I'm going to let it go deep enough so I can see it up against the rim here. So then I can spin it, spin it in the lathe to take off the last thread here. Then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing for the other side. So this is the uh, holder that I made. I made my threads one inch deep. And then I, I remove over an eighth of material with a drill bit the same size as the OD on this side of the flange here. So now when I actually thread it in there, now I can touch off this, uh, this thread. Thank you. 